Hey guys, I'm John Better Waffles Aljets, and today we're getting plugged in. The default systems within RPG Maker are super solid on their own and can be used to make some pretty fun games. But what if you wanna tweak things or just change them entirely? Well, that's where plugins come in. With help from some super talented developers such as longtime RPG Maker veteran Victor Sant, you can replace most of the systems in RPG Maker with ones that are customizable or even more powerful. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to create scripts. That is way outside of the purview of this tutorial series. But what I am gonna do is show you how to install and use plugins such as those created by Victor. So let's get over to my computer and get started. So, okay guys, before you get going with plugins, the very first thing you have to do is, of course, download some plugins. Now, there are a lot of places on the internet where you can get plugins, but myself personally, I suggest Victor Engine. Uh, his work is stellar. I've been using it for quite a while. Uh, he has scripts for MV, VXAs, and XP. So, whatever version you're using, there's probably stuff that you can use of his. There will be a link to his website and his YouTube channel down in the description box below. I would suggest subscribing to his YouTube channel because he has videos that explain each of the different plugins. So it's super useful stuff. You can get kind of previews of what he's working on and how things work. It's a great, great thing that he's doing. Just get over there, subscribe, show him some love. So anyways, guys, we're gonna download some. So go to downloads, MV, now, different plugins will have different requirements for them to function. Uh, for Victor Engine here, you need to have the basic module plugin for any of the rest of the pieces of the engine to work. So just make sure to download that, click on basic module, and plug in download. That brings up the JavaScript here, because Plugins within RPG Maker MV are made using JavaScript as opposed to like Ruby or anything like that from previous versions. Uh, it's not super important unless you're writing scripts, but uh, just click there to download. I've, already, I've actually already downloaded all the scripts, so I'm not going to do that. You just click that and it downloads it. Uh, then continue going through. We're going to grab the Active Time Battle System plugin as well. This is a battle system. Everyone loves new battle systems. That is probably the most popular type of plugin that you can find. And the big ones are an active battle time system, which it seems like every major plugin creator has their version and conditional time battle systems or conditional turn battle system. I can't remember what the T in that one, CTB. Uh, ATB is sort of similar to like your classic Final Fantasy. So like Final Fantasy seven used ATB, uh, six used ATB. I believe five, five might've been traditionally turn-based. I'm not entire, I don't remember off the top of my head. And then CTB is something similar to like, in fact, actually it's exactly like Final Fantasy 10 used a CTB system. Uh, but active, ba active time battle is uh, what we're gonna be using today. It's Victor Engine's battle system. It is awesome. It's, it's simple, it's easy to use but it's super powerful. I definitely highly recommend it. Uh, again, I already have it, so I don't need to download it again. And just for the sake of showing some examples, we're gonna grab the dual wield, and also because dual wielding is awesome and all of the cool kids are doing it. So once we have our scripts all downloaded, like I do here, we are going to uh, go over here, and we're going to navigate to our game's project folder. Now, Victor Engine does have a video somewhere in here uh, where he talks about this. So if you want to uh, watch the way that he explains it, you can go check that out or you can just continue, continue watching. Again, Victor Engine, like he, he is stellar. I cannot gush about his work uh, enough. <laughs> go check him out. But anyways, why am I plugging somebody else's tutorial in my own tutorial? I don't know. But anyways, um, so we're going to go here and... Navigate to your game's directory, go to JavaScript, plugins, and you'll you'll probably have some in here already because I know that some versions of MV actually come with free 
plugins that are made by members of the community. I know that the Steam version does. I don't know if the standalone version does. Um, and I don't know if it comes with like different like season pass stuff or anything. Point is, you might have ones already in there. But we're going to put the ones that we want in there right now, which is the Victor Engine scripts. So there we go. Now come over here to our game project. And you see this little puzzle piece button up here? Just click on that and you'll have this empty space here. Now you want to put the scripts that affect system side processes at the top because they load from top to bottom. So you want to have the major kind of earth shattering scripts at the top and then everything after that are the scripts that build upon it. So the very top one is probably going to be the basic module. In fact, I guarantee it's going to be the basic module because that's the way I'm doing it. So when you choose, when you go to choose your plugin, you double click on an empty space and it brings up this menu and you choose which script out of the ones you have installed in that folder you want to use. In this case, it's basic module. Uh, you can turn the script on or off. For our sake, we're leaving it on. There's help here, which a lot of times scripts will have like explanations of what parameters are, how to use a script, things of that nature. It will sometimes have change logs like we have here for this one. And then down here we have the parameters for the for the plugin. Now there are different things that you can change that change the way that plugins work. In this case, it's going to be different names for things. Uh, it's not entirely necessary for us to change anything in here, so we're just going to leave it. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to install the battle system next because again system side processes should be higher on the list so think of it like like a hierarchy the most important script is at the top and it, there's the fewest number of those and then it trickles down and at the bottom you'll probably have a ton of smaller plugins that if they broke, it wouldn't completely break your game whereas the ones at the top the most important ones if they break your you're screwed but anyways so we're going to go here with the active time battle system again here in the help it explains what the parameters are and what changing them would do you can read this it's long but i would suggest looking at this so you can learn how plugins work so you can again you can change any of the uh parameters that you want. I would suggest changing the ATB ready sound because MV doesn't by default have a chime two sound effect. Uh, that might be a leftover from VX ACE, but uh, change it or put a sound in there called chime two like I have. Otherwise, when you go to run the battle system, it's going to crash, which is never a fun thing. Uh, and then we're going to install again, following the hierarchy of script installation, we will put in dual wield. So again, there's there's less parameters because this is a smaller plugin. So go ahead, click, click apply, click okay. Make sure you save. That just tells the systems that this is the way that you want things to go and open up your database. Now, when you're working with scripts, there's the system side scripts that are gonna be major and they're just kind of gonna function because that's the way that they're designed. And then there are scripts that allow you to customize things where you might have to put stuff in the notes section here. Dual wield is one of those, and that's actually why I chose that as an example. Because for stuff to function with the dual wield plugin, you need to be messing with notes on the weapons and I believe actors. So just as an example, like this sword here, I want it to be only equipable in the character's main hand. So we're gonna write main hand weapon. So now that, that weapon is only equipable in their main hand as defined by the uh, plugin itself. So then we're gonna go in here, we're gonna go to troops and I'm gonna show you guys the battle system. Victor Engine again did a spectacular job with this battle system and I wanna show it off. I wanna show you guys uh, what can be done with plugins. So go ahead and we're gonna click battle test. We're gonna make sure that we have people in here. Click okay to start a battle. So here we go. Now, as you can see, already you can see a difference. See those green bars? Those weren't there before. Those are the uh, timers for your character. So when they get full, you're able to tell them what to do and your character will execute that action instantly. So attack bat, you see Nilla there attacked. 
Now, Arnis is the next one up. He's the next one with the uh, whose bar filled, and he'll attack. The bats also have a similar timing mechanic. You just can't see their bars. So they'll so they're waiting to be able to do things as well. Um, and so and you can have skills and equipment and things that affect how quickly a person's timer goes up. Uh, you can have skills like haste and slow that either speed up or slow down the bar and just, you know, get things going. You can also have it set up so that uh, it doesn't pause when the bar is full. So like the bats bars could still be filling right now and they could be attacking me. You can set that up within the plugin. You can change these parameters and you can get things the way that you want them to. That is actually a great way to speed up the battles. Um, and actually I'm going to see if I can, if I can do that after I finish this battle here. Um, I'm going to see if I can mess with that. I actually have never, I've never tried this. So, uh, okay. So full weight, we're going to look here for what are we looking for atb update mode so go through here this is this is important as you can see we're changing up how things are action speed cast cancel atb delay as this is nope delay resist atb icon hide atb gauge atb update mode so full active is what we want because we want this to be like as fast paced as it can be. Again, click save. Now let's do another battle test and let's check this out. It's gonna be nuts. Things are, at least I hope it is. <laughs> Again, I've never, I've never messed with that parameter. Uh, so here we go. Now as you see, Everybody's bars are filling as the other people's bars are filling. Um, so there's no pausing. The bats are attacking much more than they were before. Things are going and proceeding. If you if you look, if I just sit here, presumably this bat could just sit here and attack me over and over and over because I'm sitting here not doing anything and I'm wasting time. So this is a good way to keep your players on their feet. And again, like this is what you can do with plugins, guys. Plugins are super, super powerful and they allow you to customize your game and get it working the way that you want and just allow you to change things enough that you can create something truly, truly unique. So go ahead, guys, and check out Victor Engine. Go to his website, you know, hang out, check out what he has to do. He has a ton of of different plugins that you can use that do stuff such as giving, uh, changing up how your characters animate within battle, um, different, like different things. He has a materia system plugin. So if you're a fan of final fantasy seven and you want something similar to materia, he has a materia system guys, go check him out. Uh, you know, check out his YouTube channel. As I said, subscribe to his youtube channel and while you're out there you can also subscribe to my channel just saying but anyways uh, <laughs> go check out victor engine and uh make some games guys and that's it super simple stuff in the next episode we're going to do stuff i'm actually not going to tell you you're just going to have to wait and see if you liked it give it a like if not you can do the other thing don't forget to leave a comment down below and of course subscribe and if you want more content like this you can click on one of the buttons here on the side or on the little round thing to get subscribed thanks guys and have a good one